Here we have an object of mass m resting on the scales which I'm calling s. Since the object is obviously in contact with the scales, the object of mass m exerts a force on the scales. That force is perpendicular to the surface of contact, so it's normal to the scales at this point. So in blue, I'm showing the force on the scales. So we can write that as FSM, the force on S due to M. Now we can apply Newton's third law, which says that if there's a force on the scales due to the mass, there must be an equal but opposite force on the mass due to the scales. So how do we write that force? It's force on mass due to scales. It's equal but opposite to the force on the scales due to the mass. It's got the same magnitude as this vector, but points in the opposite direction. So the minus sign tells us to reverse this direction. So this is the force on the mass. I'll show forces on the mass in red. Okay, so this force must be vertically up. Now, let's look at all the forces acting on the mass. Well, let's suppose that the horizontal forces cancel out to zero, so we're not worried about them. Now, the other vertical force that acts on the mass is, of course, this weight, which is vertically down. Now I'm going to just show it over, over here, just to the side, just so it's easier to read. So this is the weight of the mass, which is mg in magnitude. Now this mass is at rest, so its acceleration is zero. That means that we can apply Newton's second law to this mass. If the acceleration is zero, the resultant force, capital F, on the mass must be zero, because the resultant force, capital F, has magnitude m times the magnitude of the acceleration, which is zero. So that tells us that the magnitude of the upwards forces acting on m must equal the magnitude of the downwards forces. So the magnitude of the upward force, fms, the force on the mass due to the scales, is equal to the weight of the mass, which is mg. Now from the previous part, we know that the magnitude of the force on the mass due to the scales is equal to the magnitude of the force on the scales due to the mass. So um, we can FMS is just FSM. So the magnitude of the force on the scales due to the mass is equal to the weight. But FSM is just a reading on the scales. Okay, that's where that reading comes from. It's the force on the scales due to the mass. So now we see why it's equal to the weight of the object. That's provided the object's acceleration is zero. In the next video we will consider the situation where the object's acceleration is not zero. We will consider a mass on a scales that's accelerating in an elevator and we will see that the reading on the scales is not mg. Um, well everyday scales give readings in kilograms. Of course we're talking about a force here so the reading on the scales would be in newtons. But of course, to convert the reading from Newtons to mass in kilograms, we just use the fact that, um, you know, the force on the scales due to the mass is equal to mg. So m is just got by taking the reading in Newtons and dividing by 9.81 to convert the reading to kilograms, which is actually mass, but in everyday usage, um, it's confusing. Weight is referred to as being in kilograms not Newtons.